I got myself a very nice tool. And here it is in the spotlight. This is a tool room, or should I actually say laboratory microscope. Laboratory measuring microscope. It's made probably in the 80s in the Soviet Union, I think in Ukraine. It's, uh, it's quite a beast. It weighs around 420 kilograms, if all included. Very nice proper cast iron base. All the machine, all the surfaces, bearing surfaces, sliding surfaces are super well finished. These are scraped. Where the bearings run, these are all lapped. These are also very fine finish. Microscope head, sliding surface, also scraped. So, all in all, looks like a very nice machine. But the problem was, this wasn't used for about 20 years. It was just sitting in some shed, I think. So I got it for a very nice price, but I had no idea whether it was working or not. So basically casting or the base was separate. And all the optics were in other place with <laughs> in heated, fortunately heated place, but just in a box. And the owner actually had no idea whether it's working or not. So I got it basically for the metal price. So it used to cost, hmm, I don't know, two or three cars maybe, maybe more. And the project ahead is to take it apart clean it, see how it's all made, how it's, uh, how it's functioning. Also have to make uh, new accessories, like the lights are gone, lost, nobody knows where, and so on and so forth. Hope you will enjoy the series. So the model of the microscope is uh, OEM21. OEM means Universal Ismeritelny Microscope. Universal Measuring Microscope. 21, I have no idea. But yeah, this is a lab grade microscope and accuracy should be somewhere in the micrometer range. And the resolution I can read from the eyepieces is uh, 0 0.1 micrometers. So that is pretty, pretty awesome. So the project is very, very large indeed. To take it all apart again and clean, put together and see how it works. So the head almost like this this is the locking nut and you can lock the table movement and if you lock it then you can use this bigger knob for a fine adjust same for horizontal uh, the big table movement. Unlock this, this is not level, but if you unlock, this moves freely. If you lock it, then you can use this one for fine adjust. Two ways to measure with this scope. One is with the profile, another is uh, you basically look for the contours from the eyepiece. So the detail you want to measure, 
goes here, like so. And if I want to measure the profile, then down here, as you can see, there's the projection part. The lens is there. And the light is projected or shown from back here. Yep, there you go. And if I want to watch from the top some profiles or features that cannot be measured from the profile, then here goes the ring light and measure as usual. These micrometer heads can be exchanged so for measuring different things. Right, right now this one is for measuring angles so I can Turn the turn the knob. This turns uh, on glass scale inside here, and I can read the angle from this one, from this eyepiece. This is for focusing and watching the detail. This eyepiece is reading the angle. So you see here is a little mirror just for the light. And let's see if I can get a result from here. Yeah, the glass is broken here. The whole head can be tilted for measuring uh, threads. So basically I can unlock this and then, then I can just turn it back to zero. Okay, a few other things which I had with the scope. These uh, cylindrical, cylindrical things. These are for measuring between centers. I have one extra, an extra interesting uh, head. This I haven't used yet, but it, this has an interesting mirror system inside. And it can be used to locate centers, centers of holes, and then measure the distance between the hole centers. So we'll have to test one, that one out as well. For profile measuring I have to attach the light to this so that it will be reflected underneath the microscope. And for this I need this tube which trails on here, like so. And then I need attachment which goes on here, which is this one. So this is also quite interesting. The bulb goes goes in here, and this is the center of the bulb can be regulated in three axes. Let's see. I can move this one, this one, and this one. Also, the length or the distance here can be regulated. It seems like it has to be smack in the center. Okay, now I have the light and let's see how it looks. Ah, there you go. There comes the light. See if I can get a cool photo of this screw. This is a ground screw of one watch and its threads were messed up so we had to measure 
what was wrong with it. So what's next with the scope? First I have to disassemble it clean, oil, check out everything. I know for sure that all the, let's say, bearing or scraped surfaces are covered with some old goo which I have to clean and also the here are two bearings here are two bearings here are three bearings one of those is busted which right now is uh, actually wrong bearing in here just had to try and see how it works there are two bearings and one vertical so I have to clean all those take them apart put them together I have to make the new lights for all the axes and also probably new ring light and so on so it will be a fun project to take it all apart see how it's done put it all together make a stand for it and later maybe put a DRO on it yeah, why not? Subscribe. We'll keep you posted.